Our expertise know-how is that we develop your real machines to put into our software so your shop floor becomes virtual, utilizing 3-axis, 4-axis, and 5-axis machines spanning all different controller types from Siemens, Heidenhain, Fanuc, and more. The first advantage we will explore is on a Huron K2X 85 5-axis table-to-table with a 45-degree plate. This is powered by a Siemens controller. This can be seen on the screen, and now we are going to visualize what is going to be machined in this workshop. The red paths are toolpath transitions, and the blue paths are machining toolpaths. On the right side of the screen, you can see the ISA code. You can easily see the machine behavior, zoom, visualize the different paths, and in this program, we can see three axis, five axis positioned, and five axis continuous toolpaths. At the end of the program, we are able to determine that this part has been machined in 28 minutes and 33 seconds. The second advantage is that we want to see if we can save some time and money machining your part on the existing machine. Now we are going to launch the automatic calculation of the optimization that our software solution offers. In real time, an optimization calculation is provided by one simple click. In just a few seconds, our system is going to identify if the possible optimization of this program can be done. Now we can see the path with the cycle time optimized and note that we can reduce the path to 23 minutes and 13 seconds, saving 15% of the time. The third advantage is that you have the possibility to increase the OEE of your machines thanks to a greater flexibility in your workshop. For this, we are going to use the same program that is running on the Huron machine with, with a Siemens controller. Now we're going to select a new machine. Why? Because your customer asked you to increase your production to get more parts. On this example, we're going to switch to a Morisiki NMV5000 5-axis table-to-table with the FANUC controller. First, we're going to see if this machine has a large enough envelope to machine this part. We can see on this Morisiki the toolpath transitions have been recalculated and have nothing to do with the previous machine. And you can, of course, see the cycle time calculation for each tool and trajectory in the project. Here we can see 25 minutes and 9 seconds. Notice that the machine and controller characteristics are different. We now have a FANA controller and a 5-axis rotable cradle. Since we are able to select many other machines on our workshop, we are going to see if another machine is available. For this, we are going to choose Hermley C40 5-axis table-to-table with a Heiden High controller. You can see in just a few clicks, the system is quickly and automatically recalculating the toolpath transitions of the trajectories, identifying quickly, again, just how much time this part can be machined on this new machine. On the Hermley machine, the cycle time drops to 21 minutes and 40 seconds. With this machine, we are performing this machining project much more efficiently. In this project, you can also see that we are simulating the trajectories with a machine using, again, a cradle, but with a completely different controller. This is a major plus. Your programmers can save precious time during new acquired machine setup because they won't need to master all the machine characteristics before starting the job. This is also a great advantage for any new programmer you hire, as it will accelerate their learning curve on your CNC machines. Usually, this learning curve would need to be 6 to 12 months before a new programmer masters all the parameters of the most complex machines on your shop floor. The fourth advantage of our software solution is to be able to go into a light mode or simply put unload your 5-axis machine. This is in the event that you have to do a part but the machine is not available or unfortunately interrupted because of a crash or unexpected maintenance. Your customer still needs the production of this part done in time. To solve this, we can split the project to allow a less desired machine to do simplified machining sequences. 
The rough toolpaths can be done on a three-axis machine, so from this project, we will transfer the toolpaths to a Haas VF2 machine which is available on your shop. We are going to reread the program to identify the trajectories which are compatible with this machine and the ones that are not. Here we can easily see that in green, the first part of the rough is machined on the three axis. In red, the fifth axis trajectories are not able to be machined due to the missing fourth and fifth axis. In a few clicks, you will be able to remove the incapable trajectories and get a new program which is efficient on the three axis Haas machine. You can check this part of the ISO which is running on the right side and send it to the machine. Now, in just a few clicks, we will send a DMU ADP 5-axis Heidenhain to identify the toolpaths and remove all the rough phases which are made on the 3-axis. Select the new rough stock result from the previous phase and then continue the project. Once again, we are recalculating all the trajectories from this new 5-axis machine, but starting from the finished result from the rough phase done on the Haas machine. The kinematics have nothing to do with this. Neither does the controller. Now we just finished the part which was not available to be produced on the previous machine due to being unavailable from unforeseen circumstance. The fifth advantage is increasing productivity and reducing cost. In the following example, we are going to identify a machine which is still in transit to your workshop and not yet available. Here we use the Huron KX100 5-axis head-to-head -head machine with a Siemens controller. This has a much bigger table than the previous one. For this, we are going to machine on the table six different parts. The model will be provided by your cat with the new setup read directly thanks to our interface with CATIA or NX for just example. From here, we're going to recover the initial program of the part to put in on the new setup in just one click. In a few seconds, the toolpath of the ISO code has now been made for this part and this setup. Now, we need to copy and paste it as many times as needed. In five clicks, our system is going to help us recalculate the toolpath for these six parts. Here once I select the other setups and then click OK, the toolpaths will be copied. As you can see, this is very fast. Avoiding to have to deal with the machine kinematic completely from being in the CAM system, all the machine limitations are handled directly from NCCMIL CAM such as out of ranges and other parameters. Obviously the six parts are sharing the same sequence of tool change. A big benefit from NCCMIL CAM will be regrouping the tool sequences to minimize tool changes. Originally we had 13 tool changes per part with five duplicated parts. Now we can avoid 65 tool changes, save us a total of 10 minutes of production. We have finished this presentation. The main point of it is to show the ease of process and the ease of use. We'll be able to help your programmers to be faster at any part, any machine, with any program. And as we said earlier, this will help train young and ambitious programmers who are discovering the job much more efficiently than conventional methods.